hiya sorry about that child saga and guess who else i've got on the table now doris come in come say hello to the world this is doris <laughs> she's so beautiful look at her little love heart so cute. Right, off you go, Doris, because we have got to get... Hi, Diane. Sorry about all this kerfuffle. If you've got children or pets, you'll understand this is what happens, is that it's kind of hard to work from home. Um, usually, he'd be at school if I'm doing, like, videos or I'm doing prep work, stuff like that. So it's been a bit tricky, you know, having a five-year-old running about as well. So let's get back on to this beautiful canvas that we're creating, all right? So I'm just going to tilt you down so you can see where we are. So we've done painting, we've done some multiple layering. I'm doing a little bit of scrunching, picking up the corners, just giving it that sort of uh, vintage sort of shabbiness sort of feel, if you like. Just sort of crumple them a little bit and pull it up. There we go. I'm going to add a little bit of wet glue to my mat. I'm just going to carry on adding some of these pretty things. So this one says, have a wonderful day. That's just going to go at a little angle there. Then we're just going to build up a bit of a flourish, if you like, up here. So I'm going to add a feather to that corner. I've got some rose detail. Give them a little bit of shape. Help pull them up a little bit. Um, I've got another flower that I'm just going to pop there. And then I've got one more little rose that I'm going to add here. There we go, just on there. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the die cut layers now and we're going to add them to the project. So again, just tap it in, tap off the excess because that's where the splurge is. And we're just going to multiple layer that beautiful bird. So we've got that silhouette, if you like, of the colour on the outside. There we go. Now with this wing, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sculpt it. So I'm going to hold it uh, quite firmly in the centre and then I'm just going to push up them layers and bring that in. And I'm just going to adhere on that little layer there. This will just make it look really beautiful. Let's have a look. Just like so. There we go. Beautiful. So there we go. I think I might do some stamping on this as well, you know. Let's put some textures in. I've got some really nice texture stamps here, and I've also got some scripts that I've been dying to use actually. So I think we'll put this on. Now I'm probably let's have a little look around. I'm probably going to go a bit rogue with this and just use it without the um, platform or anything like that. So I'm just going to add a little bit of that um, brush cordoy over and then I'm just going to pick that up. Now the beauty of stamping like this means that you can stamp anywhere and you can have it quite patchy. So there, just like that just on that part. Now, if you go for a script that you can't read, it doesn't matter because you can just use it everywhere. So I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of script again on that bottom piece. And I'm just gonna just lay it on, give it some layers. So next what I'm gonna do is take another texture stamp. I'm actually gonna take a splodge, which, is this and I could probably go in the spring sky with this just so all the colours tie together so again just pick it up straight off and see how it's quite patchy but that's great I love that and a little bit over there so let's see how we are with this now move some of this out of the way oh my goodness my table is absolute madness today really really is so i'm just gonna add a few little bits have a look oh i'm quite happy with that let's have a look hi y'all how is everyone where can you get the script stamp um there is variable ones out there that script stamp i believe is by oh let me think 
think I think it was something like either I don't I don't know if it was Crofter's Companion or that may have been in the Ink Lily. It might have been in the Ink Lily, you know, collection. So here we go. Have a look at what we just created. I'm so sorry for the little outburst today. Hi, Lindsay. Hope you're all right, my darling. But this is the joy of having a child while trying to work at home. Um, so the next project that we're going to move on to, I hope I love making things like this. So easy as well, isn't it? Great presents as well to give. Pop a little calendar on there. Lush. Next one. I'm feeling the inks coming on. Oh, yes. Let's get back inking. Right. So, hi, Amanda. Are you okay? Hi, Kim. So, I'm just going to tilt you down so you can see where we are. Let me just tighten that. There we go. Oh, it tells me off when I rotate that way. I don't know why. Let's rotate that way. There we go. So, what I've done already is this is going to be a bit of a mixture because I'm using craft card, watercolour uh, card. Now, this stamp as well, Do More of What Makes You Happy, is available at Stamps by Me. The florals that I'm using are part of the Doodle collection that comes from Tonic. There we go. I'm sorry if you've had to watch me in three different pieces today. It's all a bit of a pickle, isn't it? But there we go. So I've already done some watercolour background. Really simple, achievable. I've used the Bleeding Art tissue paper. Me and Sid done this yesterday. They're really, really easy. You can leave it to dry overnight or you can um, take it off and then scrunch with it. Loads of different variation. So I'm just going to use a little bit of my bookbinding glue just to adhere this onto a piece of craft card really really easy so once that's on then we can start doing more detail so i'm going to be doing a little bit more stamping on this i think let's have a look let me get my eureka here we go this is my dirty eureka oh she's so dirty <laughs> okay so what I'm thinking is I want something quite ornate but then a little bit arty so let's pop on a string stamp this is a string doodle stamp really really easy this is available from I do believe this is Tim Holtz this one and I'm going on there with Versafine so I'm just going to pop that straight on. Now I'm using black and I'm using this time my Eureka. The reason why is because I want that crisp precision stamping. So I'm just going to pick my stamp up, continue that line. There we go. That's how you can join your stamps very easily. Pick that up. Bit of ink. straight over there we go then I'm just going to finish that bit off there I wonder if I can just yay there we go mm, do I want any more no uh yes <laughs> honestly I am so indecisive so I'm just going to place that up there again pick that up add a bit of ink rotate that round and I'm going to do very similar just at the bottom just make sure it's in the yes that's the place so again straight over onto that just like so there we go right so I've done my little string stamping on top of the coloured artwork. Um, I'm just going to also do a little bit of inking on here. So I'm just going to pick up a little bit of, let me get a nice wet brush. There we go. I'll spray some water into the purple using the Hemi crayons again. And I'm just going to use a fan brush, little taps, I'm also just going to pick up a little bit of that green, that's a bit yellowy, I don't want that. Now, let's grab this, 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 add a little bit of green, there we go. And I'm 
just going to heat set that just quickly. You can even dip if you want it. Go straight in. There we go. Oh yeah, I like it. I like it. And I just need a little piece at the bottom, just so it is sort of symmetrical, but it doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be perfect, but I'm going to pick that out of the way. There we go. And then I've also got a piece of craft card that that's going to be going on to as well. Add a little bit of wet glue. Are you okay? Can everyone see all right? Yeah, so this is like the trilogy today of the Facebook Lives. It's supposed to be half hour at one o'clock, but we've ended up being in three separate segments. Because my little boy, bless him, he is getting so excited. He's absolutely devastated that his birthday party can't go ahead. But um, we shall, you know, we'll have to prevail. We'll have to do something else um, after lockdown. That's all we can do. Okay, so back here... I need my sculpting mat again and I'll pop that sentiment just to the side. So the flowers I've already pre-stamped and coloured. These are just ones that I've um, very easily stamped and coloured. Now this is using gossip markers on there. This one is using ink lily. So you can see the difference um, and the richness and the different sort of style of pigment. So now I'm just going to sculpt from the back now. This is quite thick cardstock. I've gone for this is really thick 300 GSM watercolour cardstock that I've used here. And then I'm just going to squidge them on the front to make them pop. Again, a little bit around the edge, like so. And then pop at the front. So I hope your day is going really well. I um, It's lovely and bright out there today in London. It's not too um, cloudy, which is nice. It sort of makes you feel it's a bit easier to get up, isn't it? But you know what my problem is? I need to stop eating. I can't stop eating being at home. It's ridiculous. You're like, oh, elevens is lunch, afternoon. You know, it's just constant. So we shall see so now let's have a look where we are so i've got my floral detail i've also got my sentiment so my sentiment is just going to go straight across the middle like so i'm just going to place that on there like that then we are going to start adding the flower detail now the flowers what I've decided is I'm going to multiple layer two there. I'm going to put two up here. So let's just go on with them. So that one's going to go right there. Then this one is going to be a twist. So it fills in the space behind it and makes it look more 3D. There we go. Let me just rotate it till I'm happy. There we go. There it is. Oh, you're just not. There we go. And then these ones, this one's going to be a little bit separate, just up there. Then this one at the bottom is just going to tuck in slightly. And then this one is going to be that second layer to go on the flower. There we go. I think maybe we should add on some sequins. Have a look if I can find my tweezers. No, no tweezers in there. So, uh, well, this could go wrong because I haven't got any tweezers. But we'll try our very best. So I'm just going to pick one up. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on my table. Just a little tad of glue. Pop that down. Pick up another sequin. I do love sequins. They're just glorious. 
they're not as heavy as a pearl are they but they're just still so pretty and just give it that sort of luxurious sort of glitz if you like so I've got a couple here I'm just gonna stick them in the center oh you there we go just in there make sure that pops up that flower there we go that is not wanting to stick for me there we go one there right let's have a look how we're doing there we go i hope you like it so this is a mixture of the string stamp that is by uh, Tim Holes, multiple layered, the sentiment is stamp is by Stamps By Me and the flower detail is from Tonic Studios. So the three projects I've created today, sorry it's been a bit of a saga, but at least you got the trilogy. You, um, I made this one, Lessons of Lace, super simple. I made this one with the beautiful bird and the backgrounds from Lessons of Lace again. Then the final one I made was a bit arty, a little bit different, very me, um, using the trilogy of the different ensemble. There we go. Thank you so much for watching me today. I will add uh, some pictures in of some more detail so um, you'll be able to see them a lot better. Thank you so much for joining me. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And Monday, I won't be doing a live because it's my Sydney's birthday, but I will be back um, probably Sunday maybe. Should we do Sunday instead? We'll see. So thanks so much. Please take care of yourself and your families. And I will speak to you soon. See you later. Take care. Bye.